You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well, your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. I'm not sure, except that I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. I have very good reasons for almost everything I do. Even if I forget them occasionally. Although I feel this one is especially important. Oh, huh, well. I find things curious as well. Go on. No. Mesélj nekem a robotskorpiókról. Well, every scientist needs an army. Mine came to me after these rather large scorpions kept coming in from the desert, like poisonous frosting. How scary, I thought. But they had survived when nothing else had. Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. Then I thought, what if they shot energy bolts, and acted as walking eyes, and data drained computers, and acted as bullhorns? Then I made them bigger. Then I thought about custard. I do so love custard. <laughs> oh, was it mustard? Mustard custard. Mm, I miss sugars and salts. I'm not going to Yes, yes, this is getting interesting. You are just filled with these little slices of curiosity, aren't you? Oh, I was probably tripping hard on Psycho when I <laughs> sent that. Had to work myself up to it. Not usually violent, except when I am. Then, <laughs> watch out! So many chems, such varieties. Whenever I take Mentats, I can feel my entire chassis breathe like a big spherical lung. <laughs> As for the Psycho, sometimes get the chem dispositories in my tank all switched up. Go in the wrong tube. Still, served its purpose. Did I? <laughs> Maybe I did. Can't have them leaving. There's some reason for it. Ethics or, uh, mm, conscience? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the reasons better than I do. Dr. Mobius. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name, and my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe your brain expressed similar incredulity at the nature of such an appellation. Someone's been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. As for the name I was born with... Like the Think Tank, we were all reprogrammed to forget them, take on new names. It enforces the recursion loop in our perception programming. Now, trap is a rather harsh word, like excrement. Not an inappropriate word, but still rather harsh. But, yes, I did uh, take some liberties with their programming. It's all right, they don't remember. I certainly didn't until you said trap, and then I said excrement, and then... The radar fence to keep the think tank hemmed in wasn't really enough. They keep testing things. They would have found a way to disarm it. I suspect I have plan C's in place, but I may have coded myself to forget them, just in case. Uh, probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. 
So I had to do something else to keep them occupied here. Or as you like to say, trapped. I prefer to have several plan Bs in case the A's fail. Oh, you figured it out. No pun intended. Dr. O, which is actually not his real name multiplied, since you can't multiply his real name in the first place. Oroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, but the world. Sense of time and history. All that is left is what's here. I reprogrammed their chronometers, geometers, and cartography programs. This is now their world, here, Big Mountain. It was a merciful lobotomy, really, thinking back. They were my friends, but sometimes they would take things too far. And the world isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. That's my professional opinion, anyway. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. Really? It is so unlike me to make an error in anything I do. Well, it's simple. Despite their many failings, they are rather bright. They are the think tank for a reason. That I didn't change. Without something to distract them, make them afraid, they would simply deduce what had happened. And when they start deucing it up... Then you came along, the final variable solved. They saw that their world was larger than they perceived. Bacteria, finally able to see its host. There have been other visitors to make them doubt their perceptions, but you are the one who dialed back their monitor micromagnifiers. You were irrefutable proof that there was a world outside. And then there was the whole brain fiasco, which forced me to take steps. See, your brain had a special kind of, uh, a wrinkle, a uniquity that they had never thought to try in all their countless escape attempts. Hmm. Yep. I'll go you on me at me to Yes, very good. I should have Mentats ingest you instead of the other way around. Hmm. Mentats. In any event, you showed up at the think tank, and because you had suffered a cranial injury in just the right place, bullets in the head are usually much more fatal, and yours was a light case of bullet headitis. But it was enough for the autodoc in the sink to change its programming to fix the problem, and the brain extraction technology for once worked. That gave the think tank the knowledge its brains shouldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't possess. With that knowledge, the procedure can be reversed. If they obtain that procedural data, they can use it to mush and modify their cranial cells into hosts to slip past the radar fence. I'm sure of it. And once they're off the reservation... Oh no. I doubt your brain would be so unreasonable. It already knows the trick of it, you see. Doesn't need to be in a host body at all. If you become friends or exist in an uneasy truce with weapons aimed at each other, it would unlock the fence for you. Well, once the think tank was dealt with, of course, your brain is a responsible sort. Doesn't want mad scientists running around everywhere. One minute, Bobby. I consider coincidence to be profanity, along with the words astrology, 
herbal tea, and luck. So watch it, potty mouth. My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. And along with the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally, pardon my language, all those technologies are needed to put a brain, uh, your brain, back into its skull properly. Ooh. The X2 antenna can be used to focus your alpha wave frequency thought patterns. The sneaky suit? Why, it houses a cardiac regulator. And the sonic sound wave projecto emitter was never intended as a weapon. It was a medicinal vertebrae pulse desensitizer. In short, brains, a heart, and courage. Spine. I think there was a story once where a band of murderous thugs sought these things. They had them all the time in the story. Didn't stop them from murdering to get them. And it won't stop the think tank either. Ooh, Zabarajlo, I mean, I'm Ez a jól mondtam a címét? El Elképzelésem sincs haver. Ez egy varázs? Nem tudom, jó? Pedig ez én alapvető tudom de most én ezekre nem tudok gondolkodni. Yes, my overly aggressive Camda broadcast was designed to keep reinforcing the forget, fear, rinse and repeat program. Oh, and the get me the things to castrate your only possible escape attempt. But I couldn't delete you or your arrival any more than I could the other visitors. Only so much science can do when you started talking to them. You're really quite difficult to ignore, you know. It's because you're, well, bah, rather intriguing if you'll forgive an old brain for saying so. Oh. That means my plan is a total failure. That is unfortunate. Oh well, at least I tried. What's the magic? Indeed, the uh, goodbye part of our little chat then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. Akkor most jön egy még furább rész. Anyám megjöttem. Mi a hang? Fel akarom menni ezt a szart? Picsába menni. Beszélek a saját agyamban egyet? Nem, ez lesz aztán a fura, és egyszerűen nagyon-nagyon vicces és mókás. Well, well, look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been? Hmm? Crawling through bits of radioactive muck again? Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? <laughs> Why are you such a dick? <laughs> well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a uh, quote, dick, unquote. As if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoy that little moment? Since I'm such a big man. Come on, that's fun stuff. <laughs> that stuff's fun. Fun? Fun? Is tetanus fun? Hmm? Is rickets? What about sepsis? Huh? Enjoy that, do we? The things you do with our body are suicidally dangerous, and if you could silence your glandular impulses, you would hear me screaming at you! I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. 
Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. Hmm, I suppose you're right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? Indeed, quite the conundrum. How do you suppose we resolve it? I suppose there might be some advantage to that, yes. There's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. Family guy plus two in the Nam Nam as a synchronous thing, so uh, yeah, that's what Chucky won the Well, I suppose you've convinced me well enough. I'll rejoin your body if that's your final decision. Unfortunately, before we get to that stage of the proceedings, we have a problem. Me feel a problem. Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. And you believe them? Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. <sighs> well, I suppose I do miss those endorphin rushes when we save the day. All right, what's the plan? Right, look out, Think Tank. This brain is coming out of its jar. Ooh. I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the Think Tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sync's autodoc can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. Szerintem valóban az agyamon kívül semmi más nem rakok vissza, szóval csak az agyamat fogom. Minden más sokkal jobban megéri a dolgod, hogyha megtartom. Nem fog eltörni a melkasom soha többé. Nem tudnak megmérgezni engem. Jaj, szóval sokkal jobban járok, hogyha ezeket inkább nem rakom be magamnak. A gerincemet és a szívemet természetesen most azok a célok. Szóval ja, csak egy kis agyaskámat fogom. Semmeltek a skorpiók nem teremnek vissza most, hogy kimegyek. Vagy hát mivel beszéltem mobius szeretem most már pajtások vagyunk, aztán... De valóban nem jöttek vissza, viszont valamit elfejtettem itt, ugyebár... Akkor, hogyha már itt vagyunk, és be tudok menni, akkor gyorsan, mert ezt még intézni kell. Ó, bassz, meg most hiába sétáltam el. <gül> ez zseniális. Na mindegy, nem biztos, hogy be kell mennem legalább az ajtón. Nem értek ez a field trip, vagy field research, vagy milyen nem ennek a küldetésnek. Field research nem fogsz már sokáig tartani, és ez már az utolsó simítás. Nagyon remélem. Na. Király. Vége? De hogy van vége? Hova gondolsz, Péter? Aki azt a map nél kéne megnézni. Hát még szép, hogy nincsen vége, bassza még. Soha nem lesz végem. Azokat majd később megkeresem, most inkább... Hé, hey. most inkább foglalkozok a fő küldetésem. Visszaszerzem az agyamat. Aztán utána megcsinálom ezt a field research dolgot. Szóval a ja, quest old world blues. És akkor beszéljük meg um, klein hogy... Ha verrad, nem vissza az anyamon. Ne legyen vessék fej. Nem lesz az olyan nehéz. Szerintem speech check meg lehet csinálni a dolgot. Ha minden jól megy. Lehet, hogy végül le kell nézni rá mindent, de... Nem láttam túl valószínűleg őszintén a dolgon. 
Szóval reménykedjünk abban, hogy egy speech checknek a keretein belül meg tudjuk ezt csinálni. Na de először inkább csak egy váltsunk. Először csak váltsunk egy szót rük. Aha. Rendben, én először megpróbálnék beszélni velük. Nem akarok egyből gyilkolni. Na, Klein. The lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Is Dr. Mobius been denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped? I recommend watching your tone with me, lobotomite. Now, your brain. Hand it over, or we'll extract it again. And what could we possibly have to speak about? You have the brain, we have the technology. All you must do is surrender. I'm full of With it, it, we can finally leave this place. I cannot tell you how boring this place gets, chopping up the landscape and everything in it. And we have so many questions to ask your brain first. About this Mojave place. A fertile testing ground for our experiments. 